If you've been on Depot Avenue in Niagara Falls, you've probably seen a brand new Amtrak train station going up. Tonight, we got a sneak peek on the inside. City officials say it will serve as a hub of activity for the future. News 4's Rachel Monjovi takes us inside the train station to show us what passengers can expect. Rachel? Callum, this was a project decades in the making. It's finally coming full circle as it's getting closer to taking passengers, and it's much more than just a place to catch a train. It is a train station. It will be one of the best stations in the Empire Corridor. The new Amtrak train station in Niagara Falls is getting closer to opening its doors. It's one of three Amtrak train stations in the country with international travel to Canada. With Border Patrol offices inside the facility, officials don't anticipate any delays. The intermodal station has retail space and an underground railroad museum in a Harriet Tubman Plaza outside. We see this as a hub for activity in the future. This will grow in importance and it will become a place where the community can be proud of. City officials and Amtrak say it's a big improvement to the current train station on Lockport Road. The current station in Niagara Falls essentially is an old freight house and, a, and a essentially our ma a maintenance facility um, with a little tiny waiting room. This is a full feature uh, train station. Um, what a city should be, what a city should offer for a train station. Thousands of people got a sneak peek of the $43 million facility. Guests could even tour the Amtrak exhibit train, which is a traveling exhibit showing the past, present, and future of Amtrak and high speed rails. Riders can't take a train at this station just yet, as Amtrak and city officials continue to work out an agreement. There's still a lot to do, you know, computer lines, all the works that, that takes getting a, a train station set up. There's a lot to it. So, but we're we're close. We're getting there, as you saw today. They say in just a month or so, the station will be open for business. City officials tell me once this train station is up and running, all operations at the current station will stop. They expect ridership to increase by 20,000 more passengers. You can expect it to open its doors before summer ends. In the studio tonight, Rachel Monjovi, News 4 at 11.